Hey guys, I'm just going to run you through a quick demo of how to download and get into QGIS some digital elevation model data. Um, in particular, we're going to use uh, data from the National Elevation Dataset, or NED, and there are actually a bunch of places to get this, including, as some of you have noted, some people uh, reselling the data, uh, which is actually public domain. I think it's technically legal to sell it, but you definitely should never buy it. It's free. Um, the basic address that we're going to be working with here is uh, the USGS's national map, which I think some of you have already taken a look at. Um, it's kind of a, a wonky interface, but we will walk through it and be looking for a specific data set. So first you'd go to nationalmap.gov, this site here. Uh, once you get to the link, you'll be looking for the national map viewer, or just go directly to nationalmap.gov slash viewer. Uh, click on this link, although You'll note on this page, there's actually a pretty good tutorial on how to locate and download national elevation data set data, um, but we'll just run through it. So the map viewer loads, and we are going to zoom in on our area of interest. So I'll, I'll be focusing on that north central Vermont location that I've done a few of the previous tutorials on, uh, right around the capital Montpelier. Uh, but basically, you'll be hitting this tiny little button that seems to indicate download data. Um, really, if that's what you're looking for, uh, it's a little too important to have in such a tiny button, but that's that's nothing we can do anything about. So hit that. Um, the easiest way to do this is just to uh, draw and uh, download by a bounding box. So you click this first link of the download options here. Uh, then you click and drag the area that you're interested in. So in this case, I'll grab this one. Then it asks you to choose which data types you'd like within that. I'm going to grab elevation. There are a bunch of, a bunch of things there, but I'm only interested in the elevation for now. Then you can see a bunch of, uh, bunch of different options here. Um, they're in a, a few different data formats, um, most of which Quantum can open, but uh, I tend to prefer the uh, the IMG format, which is uh, Erdos Imagine. It's uh, just a little bit more compact and portable than uh, GeoTIFFs or ArcGrids, which tend to have um, many more essential associated files with them. So the other option here is a couple of resolutions. Um, we have, within the conterminous United States, there are uh, pretty much everywhere has one third arc second resolution data, which is, um, to put in uh, more detailed terms, is about 30 meters resolution. Um, which is, you know, it's pretty good, but it's not going to it's not going to help you figure out the drainage of a particular house site. But it's definitely going to give you a picture of uh, broader hydrology and uh, is going to make a nice background if you're using it as hillshade. Um, some of the areas are available at one ninth arc second, which is uh, you know 10 meters. But um, I'm not totally convinced that this is for the area I've just selected, so I'm going to go with one third arc second. If you're focusing on an urban area it probably has one ninth, arc, one ninth arc second data and you can use that. But we're rural, so I'm going to grab the IMG format of the National Elevation data set at one arc, oh, at one third arc second. This one. So it's a fairly simple checkout process. You can see that's in the carts. I'm gonna hit that, enter an email address, and then hit place the order. Now, for the sake of argument, say I have already placed the order. In fact, I have already placed the order. Um, it should be, uh, you know, delivered to your email inbox within a few hours. Um, and this is what it looks like when you get it. It's just a couple of download links. Uh, you can see the area I selected was too big for a single uh, raster file. So it just broke it into two automatically, and I download them accordingly. Now you can see I've uh, got them downloaded. It was just two zip files, these things. Uh, decompressed. We'll take a look at what's inside. It's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, in particular, there's a, a bunch of metadata associated with this. There's a shape file showing the extent of the raster data, so a vector showing where the raster is. Um, a data dictionary and a readme. Um, for the most part, we can ignore this stuff and just go right for this uh, 455 megabyte disk image file, which is where all the good stuff is. 
we'll bring up Quantum GIS and add a raster file. Now, don't panic because it's not going to symbolize it very well when it first loads in. Uh, it's all gray because it doesn't know how you want it to look. Uh, so we basically just go into properties and style. Um, the easiest way to take a look at this data is to switch it from grayscale to uh, pseudo color, which is just going to assign values based on what it sees as the, in the data. And then there you go. You can see that the uh, the topography is visible. It's symbolized. Uh, this is a decent color scheme to use, but you can change that up a bit. Um, the important part here is that this is elevation data, and it's in raster format, and it's in the right location. Just to be sure of that, I'm going to add a reference file from one of the previous tutorials. I've got a, a mask that shows everywhere around the city of Montpelier. to add that and ta-da! The topography of Montpelier is now masked out. Um, last thing we might want to do is just look at what the projection is that this came in. So we'll go to the general tab under properties and you can see we are in a very generic North American date of 1983. This is EPSG 4269. Uh, so kind of a unique one and Hopefully it will uh, line up with all of your data without trouble. Uh, you can see in this case it did line up with mine. Uh, that Montpelier vector mask is uh, in an entirely different projection and they arranged accordingly. But uh, yeah, you guys should be starting to get a handle on how projections work and shouldn't have too much of a problem with this particular data.